So given their deep concern for the risk that working reporters face, it's strange how quiet they've been about this amazing story. And it is amazing. Last week, police say a Democratic Party politician assassinated, stabbed to death personally, a reporter for the Las Vegas Review Journal. The reporter was called Jeff German. He was 69 years old. He worked there for decades. He was their corruption reporter. Pretty famous, actually. Well, the man charged with this is Clark County Public Administrator Rob Tellis. Police say he targeted the reporter because of his reporting on Tellis's conduct in office. At the crime scene, police say they found Tellis's DNA under German's fingernails, along with a lot of other evidence. Here's a scene-setting report from local Las Vegas media. Police say this is video of Clark County Public Administrator Robert Tellis walking to what soon would turn into a homicide. Tellis approached the home of Las Vegas Review Journal investigative reporter Jeff Gehrman, who then came outside where the two got into an altercation around 1118 Friday morning. Video evidence shows Tellis leaving his home Friday morning around 9 in this maroon SUV, which they put out to the public. They say the SUV was seen driving in Gehrman's neighborhood and leaving that scene after the 11:18 a.m. killing. They say he arrived back home around noon. They recovered shoes Tellus was wearing with apparent blood on them and cut up in an attempt to destroy evidence. Same thing with the straw hat they say Tellus was wearing. Amazing. Adam Laxalt is from the state of Nevada. He is now running for Senate from there. He was the former attorney general of the state. He joins us tonight to make sense of this story. Adam Laxalt, thanks a lot for coming on. What is this? Well, look, first and foremost, uh, our thoughts and prayers go, go out to Jeff German for, you know, this kind of senseless violence against a journalist is absolutely not the America that we can ever accept. Uh, but you're right, Tucker. I mean, what did the Democrats do? There was a, a Reno politician that immediately somehow tried to blame Donald Trump for this attack. There was a reporter, a left-wing reporter, in a, in a press conference with the sheriff of this serious incident that said, well, you, you condemn Donald Trump for this incident. Uh, and so just absolutely outrageous that it's the left's foot soldiers that burned down America. It's the left's foot soldiers that attacked a couple thousand cops, including shooting an officer in Las Vegas just two years ago. Uh, these are the people that keep inciting violence in our country, and yet they want to completely change the subject from their rhetoric, from their policies that are making our cities and our communities across America less safe. I certainly hope that, that the voters are paying attention and that yeah. they're going to hold them accountable in November. Well, I'm no expert on Nevada politics, but it looks to me like you're going to win the Senate race, which would be, which would be a, a sea change. So we're certainly rooting for that. Adam Laxalt, thanks so much for coming on.